Good morning, everybody. So this is going to be really short because um, I'm getting ready to go to church. Um, I, like I said, I will be back after church and I will discuss um, in full my understanding of what the Holy Spirit said to me yesterday and, um, and, and Jesus. And here's what I want to tell you. You know, if you watch any of these uh, mass deliverance videos, or if you watch that so-called prophetess person over there, um, they all the time, especially her, she says she's got a prophecy. Well, they got to be hearing something from someplace. Uh, no doubt they're hearing it from mammon. But what, what they are calling it is a word of knowledge. And... Uh, the, in, especially in these mass deliverances, those pastors that were attacking me from Vlad's church, you see it in their videos all the time, that they're getting a word of knowledge, and they will repeat something about the person that they're getting ready to deliver that was given to them by the Holy Spirit, that there may be something they need to renounce or break or something. These people should understand that a word of knowledge is true, and it is accurate. It is coming from the Holy Spirit. It's amazing that when I relay a word of knowledge to you, that they discount it. Isn't that amazing? I am going to put the two videos in the description that I saw last night. Um, made me want to vomit. That's why I made that video last night. You know, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, not mammon. So... I want you to understand that, that when someone in the Spirit gets a word of knowledge, it is coming directly from the Holy Spirit. And it should never be ignored. Ignore it at your own peril. It's exactly what these people have done out here. Not only have they done it, but they've uh, spoken against it. They've spoken against the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is what's out here. You will see the absolute ego drip, dripping off of these people. And you know, the only thing that I can do is I can give the truth. I can't make you accept the truth. I can't make you believe the truth. I can't make you act on the truth. I can't make you do anything. You've got to want to be in oneness with God. You've got to want to not be in sin. You've got to want this. You've got to want this. As you're seeing, I, what I've been saying this whole time is the truth. As you're seeing, I have given up everything of the world. I have given up everything of the world. I live a sinless life. Am, am I just being delivered from these demons? Nope. I've got to whatever area of my life that there is a deficit in. This is what the Holy Spirit is teaching me that I have to get deeper into. And I've been saying it this whole, there's a reason why I haven't been delivered from these demons yet. And they were all saying it's because I'm a witch and a demon and I don't, and I'm an unbeliever. All of this demonic stuff that they were saying against me. Well, you can see who the real demon is, demons are as they actually speak against the word of the Holy Spirit. You can see who the real demons are out here. Their egos are massive, just like I said. So what I want to explain to you guys now, everything I'm telling you, I'm talking about this issue right here because this is the issue that the Holy Spirit and Jesus has guided me that I need to go deeper on, okay? And it does not surprise me. Remember, I told you I lived my whole life believing that I was in a relationship with Jesus, but I was so dissociated from myself. How could I, how could I have been... And I didn't know the first thing about what a, what a real relationship was. I never had an example of that in my life. This is what Jesus and the Holy Spirit are teaching me now. Do you understand? And there is no shame in my game. I want 100% God or bust. And this is what I'm sharing with you out here. Okay? So I've given up all the world already. I've transcended the world. I've done the work. Now, what is it? Hone in on those relationship skills 
This is what Jesus and the Holy Spirit were telling me. Hone in on those relationship skills. Do not rely so much on myself. And because I've been cast into this world by myself, I have not one other person that I can rely on. And I have millions of people that are abusing me. Um, yeah, I've gotten into the habit, especially since these demons told me that meditation was evil. I went back into the habit of relying on me. I will sit here all day and say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It keeps me connected to God constantly. But is that a true relationship? Obviously not. This is what I'm being taught right now by Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And this is what I want to share with you. Because if, if you get this relationship down, get into a, a stable, close, tight relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, then you transcending the world will not be half as difficult. I, as usual, went about it backwards. So I transcended the world and I'm still working on the relationship part. The deepening of the relationship part. So here's what I want to tell you guys because I'm getting ready to go out and do the same exact thing. So whatever I'm sharing with you, understand that I am doing the same exact thing as I've always done. I've always been the guinea pig out here. And I will relay my results with you as always. So I'm going out this morning. I'm going to Walgreens or whatever your local pharmacy is. Go and get the little books that have the spiral rings on them with index cards attached to them. And get several of them. Make up whatever problems that you're facing in your life because for, for each of us, we face various problems more frequently because of our generational curses, the choices that we've made in life, um, and so we're, we have different types of demons in us. So um, if your deal is anger, go in the Bible and find verses, Bible verses on anger. And write them on these index cards. Um, also, write down God's promises. Write them on the index cards. Um, whatever, whatever you're struggling with in your life constantly it's, it's it's really been a hindrance to you whatever it is uh if it's depression if it's sadness um lust go in the bible and get the bible verses so i'm going to get into various ways to meditate this afternoon when i get home and but for right now if you get busy on this get busy on this Get the index cards on a spiral so that you they won't get lost. And you're going to label You can actually label them uh, depending on how much you use. Um, anger and depression. You might have those Bible verses in, in one book. You might have lust and perversion in, in another book. All the Bible verses. That is uh, the starting point. Okay? And we're actually going to use these in our meditation. All right? So understand that when someone in the spirit gets a word of knowledge, it is actually Jesus and the Holy Spirit speaking to them about what the, the person in front of them needs. Okay? I have been blessed with the gift of interpretation and the ability to see the bigger picture because I am in the existential reality. This is how I understood way beyond what was specified just for me. And this is what we're going to talk about this afternoon. But for right now, this is a good start. If you can get those index cards and get busy, get busy, busy, busy. Identifying first what are the major issues that you struggle with in your life more than others. They're, they're prominent in your life. Um... And start looking up Bible verses and write, write, I, I don't know, whatever you decide is best for you. You can write one verse on a card, a couple on a card. Um, but but keep the, the topic separate. Like if you struggle with, with more than one, put one one or two in one, one of the books and then put one or two in another of the book. This way you don't have to spend hours looking for what you're looking for. 
you know exactly what books to go for. Okay? So, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I got to really get ready to, to leave to go to church. And um, if, you, if you are not going to church, this is something that you should begin looking into very seriously. I did notice a big change in the feeling of oppression that I had once I started going to church and I was around other Christians. It makes a big difference. It makes a very big difference. And if you have demons, they're probably trying to stop you from going to church. And understand, there is a reason why they're stopping you. So if you don't want to go to church, that is all the more reason for you to push yourself. That is all the more reason to push yourself. You will feel that black cloud lift from you. This is why it is imperative that we listen to the words of the Holy Spirit. I really find it amazing that when these people get a word of knowledge, they want everyone to believe that it is coming from Jesus and the Holy Spirit, even though they're mammon worshipers. And when, when I tell you about a word of knowledge, don't believe it, and they actually teach on the opposite. Well, I don't know how many times I have to say out here that I am in the existential reality and that the Holy, the Holy Spirit is here. And, um, you know, if these people want to want to play in the hot place for all eternity, that really is up to them. But the fact that they're causing other people to play in the hot place, that's unexcusable. They will have to answer for that, especially they call themselves pastors and prophetesses. They're going to be judged seven times more harshly than anybody else. So I want you guys to fully understand this. Deliverance is not your first option. The relationship that you have with Jesus and the Holy Spirit is the primary option. Primary. That is our lifeline. That is our lifeblood. He died for us. What else could be more important than that? Not, not giving uh, constant uh, lip service to these demons. No. Our constant speaking should be about Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That's all I could say. So I'm going to leave this here. I will put those two videos that I saw last night in the description. You will see what, I, what I'm saying, especially that prophetess. She's got such a massive... You know, she reminds me of that tarot demon... Every time I used to tell that tarot demon to stop something, she would go and do it all the more. That's exactly what that prophetess does. When I spoke about that, um, that they had uh, at, at her show, they had those prayer shawls, and uh, they, she, she's charging $150 for them. Don't you think the next day, her husband and everybody in that place had a prayer shawl on? They never, you don't see them wearing it today. Just to put it in my face, because I mentioned it. This is how important my words are. And this is what I want you guys to understand. This is how important my words are. And the fact that I said deliverance is not primary, that your relationship with God is primary, and um, because I said it, they went and talk, talked about the complete opposite. Well, this is all going to be on them. And, uh, you know, with that pastor... I tried to give him the message that was given to me. He obviously doesn't care what the Holy Spirit is saying to him. So he will have to deal with that all on his own. Because I'm done speaking to him. I'm done speaking to him. Do not give your pearls to pigs. God has warned us of this. Um, the, yesterday was my final time speaking to these people. So if you are serious on a path, you seriously love Jesus and you want to wake up, you want to get out of the sleep, this is this is the place to be. We're going to be working on this constantly. And um, I'm encouraging you to stay away from these people. I've given you the name of a pastor. He's, he's filled to the gills with the Holy Spirit. And uh, if you need deliverance, you have an option there. I will also get uh, a, uh, another girl that I found on the internet who does deliverance. She's, uh, she's a beautiful soul. You can see who she is. She's filled with light. And uh, she also does deliverance. You see these people? They want to be the young guns. It's all in the world. 
The people that I have been drawn to, they're drawn to the light. That's who I will refer you to. You guys have a blessed day, and I hope you get to church. Be blessed.